Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. In this video, I'm going to provide you with some tips that you can use to negotiate a higher salary after obtaining your PE license. I will guide you through ways to approach salary negotiation and give you the tips, techniques, and skills to enable you to negotiate the compensation that you deserve. These tips will help you earn more as a professional engineer, and I strongly recommend that all professional engineers watch this video. Now, before I dive into this topic, I want you to know that this episode is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. I often get asked by engineers if they will receive a salary increase or even a promotion after obtaining their PE license. Well, it really depends on several factors, such as your company policy, your new billing rate, and your company's multiplier, which all affect your maximum annual salary. How much you get paid also depends on how well your company is doing financially and how much you are directly contributing to their success. Now, some employers may want to pay you more, but may be unable to reasonably do so if the company isn't making enough money. So the bottom line here is that if you would like to get paid more, you will have to speak up and ask for it. Now, I know that's not always easy to do. However, there are a few tips that you can use to get the process started. Number one, do your research. Prove you deserve a promotion and or a higher salary like a true engineer would with facts and figures from credible sources. A great way to begin your research is by looking for average salaries of professional engineers by industry and location. You can start by looking into some of the major engineering societies like NSPE, IEEE, ASME, ASCE. Although you might need to pay for the latest salary information, older research is available online for free. And these organizations have already done the hard work for you by conducting the research. Use the information that they provide to your full advantage. Number two, selling points. Once your research is complete, tailor your findings and format them into easy to interpret benefits for your manager. Prepare for the discussion using your results and practice until you've got the points nailed down. Now here are some pointers to remember and practice for why you should be separated from your peers in terms of pay and rank. What makes a licensed PE better? Many engineers have graduate level degrees but fewer engineers have their PE license. The license brings prestige to you and your company and your team. And you can back up these findings by finding out how many PEs work for your company already. Besides being able to legally sign off on engineering designs, you also can serve as an expert witness in the court of law with your license. In some states, there's even a ranking system of engineering companies based on the number of PEs that they employ. So by becoming one, you may have just moved your firm up the ranks. Number three, timing is everything. Choose the right time to ask for a raise. If you're currently studying for the PE exam, wait until you've obtained your license. You'll have much more leverage when you approach your employer. Maybe you started a new job in the last three months. If that's the case, forget about asking now. Wait at least six months before you ask for a pay raise. Once you've updated your resume with your new skills, only then should you go and approach your boss. Even choosing the right day of the week could impact whether or not you receive a salary increase. Now here's a quote 
Believe it or not, there are actually good and not so good times to talk about money in the workplace, says Ginger Dean from Forbes magazine. Mondays are bad, Fridays are good, and mornings are always better. Who knew? Number four, post meeting. After your meeting is finished, thank your manager for his or her time, and then you have to patiently wait for a decision. Remember that raises and promotions can take a long time to be approved. It is not unheard of for the approval process to take months due to the number of approvals and sign-offs that have to happen across multiple departments. Not only does the engineering department typically need to sign off, but human resources usually has a stake in the matter as well, and at times even executive leadership may have to get involved. A common misconception is that companies do not compete internally for these types of raises and promotions. However, they definitely do. If you get an offer from another company or even internally, you can use this offer as leverage to get what you want, possibly even sooner in your current position. The last thing to always remember is to stay vigilant and to not allow yourself to become discouraged. The worst thing that can happen is that your management team says no, and that is when the negotiation really begins. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve more PE exam practice problems and answer questions from our subscribers about the exam. Past the PE exam videos will publish weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. And please, I encourage you to ask questions and leave comments below this video, and I will respond to you. Let me know if there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover or a problem that you need solved. Pass the PE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week.